The other thing, just focus first on the, on the top line. Migo Genevi and the open source world. Although both of them have a, a, spe a specific frequency of delivering releases, innovation is basically continuously ongoing. And the focus here is innovation, not necessarily looking for uh, um, uh, serving the problem of long-term maintenance and support. So you need to have somebody in the middle, whether it is done by yourself, by your company, so you can do a roll your own distribution, or you take advantage of commercial distributors, creating exactly uh, such distributions which fulfill these needs with all the activities uh, um, uh, linked to that. And I mean, when you did once an, an infotainment system, it's pretty clear that, for example, here this example, uh, you have a certain version PFG is just a synonym for platform for Geneva. It can be done by any, by any company. Uh, you have this version and you're already providing this for the B sample and for the C sample uh, device. And although the same company will have a new release ahead of, this, of the start of production date, many of, uh, many of you will choose just to stay on the old version, not to risk this uh, start of production date. It's very, very, very bad when you deliver a hole in the dashboard with a car. So this means that you need also to take care, not only, uh, not only to focus on the next release, but branch and maintain this old release for a couple of years. So this is a target here, why you need to have some mechanism or some companies providing this, even when you are basing your system on open source technology. This is another picture of just making an upstream again. And the advantage of an OSV, um, uh, who are dealing with not only with one, with one customer, but with many customers. Here you have a collection of open source projects, whether it's uh, kernel.org or others, GNOME or um, uh, other uh, open source projects, whether it's the Geneva open source projects or Geneva IP. All of those taking the, the same uh, source um, uh, and uh, implementing specific um, uh, distributions for their customers, tier one and tier uh, 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 carbon effectors. And of course, at least my company has the strategy, and this was just discussed uh, um, uh, um, uh, in, the, in, the, in the session before, it's very wise to base your strategy on that, that you upstream your bug fixes, you upstream your extensions of the components, and not necessarily maintain all the forks you will have. So when you, when you then uh, just remember what, what this means, when you keep the bug fixes independent from the license stuff, when you keep the bug fixes with you, you are serving several customers, you would need to maintain all the branches. It's just, it, this is a tremendous effort and it's not worthwhile. So give it back and take advantage then in the next step as well so that you get the greatest and the, the uh, very, very good quality out of the uh, community as well. And this is the strategy of my company and I'm sure of my competitors as well. Other than that, it would not make sense. Um, submission of code. The Geneva Alliance and also then when cooperating with Migo, the uh, open source community and projects like Migo, IBI, will benefit from, from these contributions, but it also needs to be maintained. And for the specific components within the, uh, uh, which are provided by the Geneva Alliance, Geneva will take care to make the right decisions in order to also uh, update and upgrade uh, uh, the feedback out of, of the market and give it back to the community. Another very, very big advantage of the open source development, this, this looks pretty uh, complex, this picture, but it's easy. It's, it's uh, not locking into a specific supplier. So just remember the picture uh, of all the companies uh, in the alliance. There are many, many of T1 suppliers. There are many of operating system vendors. There is the who is who from the semiconductor uh, vendors. There is no lock-in into any of those when using open source. So you have open source projects like Migo, Genevi, and other open source projects. 
This source is used by all of those when creating commercial products. Independent whether it's a Wind River, Monte Vista, or Venta Graphics, independent whether it's a Magneti Morelli, or an Alpine, or a Delphi Vestia. They are taking the same source, and also the same source is taken by MIGO, IBI, when generating Geneva reference platform and Geneva demonstrators. So no lock-in, you, uh, you can pick and choose and uh, take the best out of the industry. Yeah, this brings me back to the summary. The Geneva Alliance was created out of a specific need in order to get an answer to uh, the uh, challenges in the industry. One, one, com one company is no longer able to provide the services and build an IBI system without partnering with others. And therefore, we are, the Geneva Alliance uh, went a complete different path by um, introducing Linux technology into the IBI segment. The Alliance was founded in 2009, in March 2009. The first reference based on Moblin was launched in 2000, was January this, this year at CES. And the next target is, um, the next target release is um, Apollo, the code name for that, by fall this year. And even the next release uh, then called Borg as code name, uh, uh, spring next year. It's not based on a single supplier dependency. And with all the advantages of open source, we can for sure provide you a solution where you can uh, take advantage out of open source community, whether you're saving cost, whether you have uh, um, choices with other companies, whether you have the choice to take, pick and choose some of the vendors here or whether, we, whether you um, uh, take an open source community and do it by yourself. Thank you very much. That was it from my side. Do we have questions? <laughs>